Hello guys and welcome to a short quick tip video with AG2 and its formation and annihilation planes. How you can break things very quickly and easily. For example, if you are out mining and you collect lots of redstone ores, normally when you break them you get normal redstone, not ores. The same thing goes for diamonds, coal and and so on so th this is the normal way but perhaps you have a silk pickaxe or, or or something like that so you're getting lots of redstone ores instead well then you can let your your a2 system break it for you now i understand that there are other mods that can do this like pulverizer from thermal expansion that's typically typically a better choice, of course, since you get even more outcome from those machines. But this mechanic can be good to know about, and uh, perhaps sometimes you have played when you don't have access to those machines, so you need to do it the basic way. And then, instead of a pickaxe, you might actually do this. So, let's begin. There are two ways to do this. Uh, well that I will cover at least. <laughs> uh, so the first thing is we do like this. We have an interface and we will have a yeah let's set an export bus back here like this and then we can just tell the export bus to always export redstone. So this network here is very basic. I have nothing in it. We just have have a chest with storage and, uh, and a crafting storage to do some auto crafting in a while. But let's begin with this. So uh, this one has no power right now, so we can do it like this. Okay, perfect. Now it's perfect. Uh, so this one will always export redstone ore to this interface and we would like to to break it and then we can set something up like this all right so this formation plane will we set to have a higher priority than the interface so everything that goes into this interface will end up being output by the formation plane okay and after testing i can just recommend that capacity cards can go in here so you can have more ores being automatically output and one acceleration card speeds things up a little so now when we place redstone in here then everything will be put into the interface automatically put down and automatically broken and then it goes straight back to the uh, to the system you can do this with with all your uh, well diamonds lapis coal everything that you want to be automa automatically broken can actually be uh, sent out like this but we can do one other thing is we can actually do some auto crafting with this and now we'll clean it up a little uh, one interface here and a smart cable well you don't need to use the smart cables but you know makes things uh, slightly more easy to follow i guess so the old thing still works if we through some uh, redstone it will just continue to work all right but this one here we can actually set some patterns so let's do that we can say that coal like that should turn into coal and make sure you have a processing pattern so remember no bonus outcome not so if you have a pickaxe with a fortune, perhaps that's better, but this will be automated at least. 
set the pattern here and throw your coals into the system. Note, nothing happens, but when we order coal, like 10 of these, we will use the coal ore like that and we're done with the 10. We can also, well that's easy because you can use this on uh, diamonds to get one diamond from diamond ore and so on. But there's also another way to do this, gravel to get flint. Now this is this is not rock stable since you don't know exactly how to get flint. You know you may get it from gravel but not how many you have to break. So for example if I put 32 give me one flint it might work, it should work for the most part but you don't know for sure when it comes to flint. So make sure it's something stable to, that gives you at least one from one. Redstone is easy, that gives you multiple per, per block. But coal gives you one to one. Flint, well, we can order two flints. That will send one stack, as I said, 32 equals one. And now we might get one or zero or five. So, I mean, it works, but perhaps not recommended. Oh, we already got our two. And they even got the third. The rest of the gravel will be sent back, so you can... You should actually have quite a lot. Now I got six of them instead of two, so that should be stable, but... Okay, you get the point. And after that, there's not much more to say with this method. You can... Uh, it's quite quick. And it uh, doesn't consume an extra power, I think. Or does it? I don't know. I don't think much anyway. But uh, yeah, if you have any questions about this, of course, leave a comment and uh, tell, me, tell me your question. Or just tell me what you think about it. Alright, see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.